Hello, smartest artist. Today we will be designing the alphabet. We will be making all of the letters of the alphabet using a pencil. If you have a marker, you can use a marker if you want. But if you use a pencil, you get to erase if you make a mistake that you want to change. Please make sure your paper is in front of you and all the way on the table. Sometimes kids have their paper come down here. Don't do that. Let your paper stay on the table. Your paper is all the way on the table. Take your pencil and write your name at the baseline, the baseline is the bottom of the paper. Miss French, I wrote my name at the bottom of the paper. The baseline, after you write your name, put your pencil down flat and fold your hands back fast again. We are relaxing our artist hands. Relaxing my artist hands because it's not time for me to make art yet. Thank you very much. I make art whenever I'm ready to in art class. I'm sitting tall, my legs are in front of me, and my back is very tall, I feel comfortable. Thumbs up if you feel safe. What color is safe? Red, red color is about safety. All right, let's start. I feel safe, my legs are in front of my chair. Let's draw the first letter of the alphabet. The first letter is A. We can do all big uppercase capital letters. If you use pencil, you can erase. I'm gonna use marker because I'm not gonna make any big mistakes. I want you to see what I'm making and this black marker comes out nice and what? Dark. Now let's make the next letter. The letter B. I'm using the side of my marker. D, D uh, E, F, F D, G, G. Now move to the next row. H. I'm using the side of my marker. I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. This part I put a little serif on it. I don't know if we can need to do that. S, T, U, V, W. X, Y, check that out, Y, Z. Oh, cool, just enough space. After you're done with the big letters, then you can make the lowercase. Take your finished paper, move it over here. Take your next paper, 
put it in the square area that you're working in under your strip. Make sure you're sitting up tall. Make sure your legs are in front of you. Where's your pencil? Where's your marker? Write your name at the baseline. Write the alphabet in all lowercase. Write out the alphabet using all lowercase letters. Double V, it's really double U, but some countries call it double V. Like wherever Beethoven and Mozart and Bach are from, they call it double V. X, Y, Z. Good job, Miss French. Now on your last piece, make your name. Now on your last paper, make your name the last paper that you will need for today. Please take your capital letters and move them out of the way. Take your lowercase letters, move them out of the way. And take your new paper to write your name. You can write your first and last name if you want. I'm writing Miss French. And then I'm going to put a swirly gig next to it. Hey! After you have your name drawn with a little design, you can use colors to add color if you want. Oh, look at how these silent stones would be so cute in this design. So you can use add, you can use different colors to decorate your work. Oh, how cute. When you are finished with your uppercase and lowercase alphabet and you're finished writing your name, please fold your hands or put your head down. And we're going to move on to the next part of our lesson where we learn some information about the letters of the alphabet. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, everyone. So we have our uppercase capital letters. And then we have our lowercase small letters. And then we drew our name with a design, some kind of vector with it. And then, last, you can make whatever you want. Guess what I'm making? I'm making the alphabet, capitals and lowercase. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, 
F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Wow, just enough space. You can do something like design the border of the paper. I'm going to use slanted lines close together in proximity to make this design look more scrimmity. Like I wanted to take more time to practice making lines. So after you have your uppercase and lowercase alphabet all written out, you might want to put a design along the frame. If you need to add other colors, you can. If you want to change the faces of all of these letters to make them look like animals, you can. When you're finished with everything, put it in one pile so that when I call your table, you'll be ready to line up after we listen to our story and probably have an art gallery exhibit show. Okay, so if we're gonna have an art gallery exhibit show, please leave everything so people can see your work when they pass by your working space. That's right, leave your work out so everyone can see it during the art gallery exhibit show thanks for being here see you next time